In this video, I want to give you some tips on building a massive YouTube following. Now, why is it that some YouTube videos get so many views they practically break the counter, yet others get seen so infrequently the page looks like Tombstone before the outlaws ride in? And how come some YouTube channels have many thousands of subscribers and their video stats hit four figures within a few hours, whereas others might get one or two subscribers a year and their videos never get viewed a hundred times before they get taken down? Well, there are a number of different answers to that question. And while you might not have as many views and subscribers as Gangnam Style, you can certainly build a solid following and get a decent number of views for your videos. The main determining factor for how popular your videos are going to be comes down to your niche, and some niches are more popular than others. In general internet marketing, the biggest niches are fitness, dating, self-help, and making money. But some of the most popular subjects for YouTube videos outside of those big internet marketing niches are gaming, makeup tutorials, grooming and style, travel, technology, fails, cats, DIY, comedy, and lifestyle vlogs. So you need to pick a niche that's going to be popular, but Often the most popular niches are the most competitive and oversaturated. So if you do a series of videos on how to do the perfect workout routine, you're going to be up against some fairly big names who already have a massive following, and you'll find it very hard to compete. So what should you do? Well, one thing is to pick a popular niche, but concentrate on a particular aspect of it. And this is known as niching down or niching down, as some people pronounce it. So let's say you're in the golf niche. Instead of doing just general golf videos, you could do tutorials on how to hit the perfect swing or do the perfect putt. You could show how to hit with each type of iron or wood, or you could have tips to play different holes at different golf courses or different links. And of course, when golf goes wrong, it's always a good topic for humour. Or why not pick an obscure sport like handball? Now, it's not as popular, so it's not as competitive, at least off the field anyway. But there's also not much out there. So videos on this topic do rack up an awful lot of views fairly quickly. But of course, it doesn't matter how good your content is. If you can't get people to your channel, no one's going to see it. So there's not a lot of point. So how can you get a lot of people to your channel quite easily? Well, a keyword rich description and title will help YouTube to determine what your video is all about. And so when people type in what they're searching for on YouTube, YouTube will go through, they'll use the keywords and they'll pull yours out and it'll come up either in the listing or in the suggested videos at the side. Something else you can do is if your video is scripted, be sure to include plenty of keywords and then upload the script to YouTube so that it can be used for subtitles and closed captions. And then that will help YouTube also to decide exactly where your video is and exactly what your video is about. Now, some good tools to find keywords are the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Uh, this is quite a long URL, so if you just go to Google and type in Google AdWords Keyword Planner, you'll be directed to this site. Or something a bit more in-depth, you can use Market Samurai, which you can find here at marketsamurai.com. And this is a paid-for solution, although there is a free trial offer running at the time that I'm making this video. Something else you can do is use other social media to drive traffic. 
So tweet about your video upload on Twitter, you know, just sending a tweet saying I've uploaded a new video and then the URL uh, can also get people to look at you know, just around of curiosity, really. Or you can post it on Facebook or you can share it on sites like Reddit or Google Plus. And Google Plus is actually very good because Google owns YouTube and they also own Google Plus. So there's a lot of synergy between the three areas. So uh, if you've got something on YouTube, you can put it up on Google Plus as well. And it'll also show up very well in the Google search engine rankings. Something else you can do is to embed your YouTube video onto your blog as part of a blog post. And if you have a WordPress blog, this is actually very easy to do. You just simply embed the URL and WordPress takes care of the rest. And you should also make it easy for others to share your video on their sites. To make your YouTube videos easy to share, make sure that all this works properly once you've uploaded your video. You want to make sure that there is a, a URL or share link that people can access and that they've got the buttons here that people can share on various other social media sites. Also to make sure that you've got the embed code like here to go on an HTML site and that people can email uh, your uh, U URLs. Uh, you have to sign in to do this and I haven't, but usually there'll be a, a link here that you can use.